In this video, I'll demonstrate how to analyze data using the four parameter logistic curve protocol on myassays.com. Once you've logged into myassays.com, you can use the search bar at the top of the screen to locate an assay kit or fit method for your assay. For this example, I've used the four parameter logistic curve. And here you can see in the protocol a description followed by six tabs. We can click on each of these tabs to expand the section. Starting with the measurements, we can copy and paste in the data or browse for a file. I'll copy and paste in my data. Next, we can expand the microplate tab and define our microplate layout. You can select from one of the pre-configured layouts or create a layout to open the microplate editor and create your own layout. For more information about how to use the plate layout editor, please see the associated video. I'll click on this first layout and then move to the standard concentration section. For my assay, the standard concentrations start at 500 and follow a series divided by two. If your standard concentrations do not follow a set pattern, you can click the series button to turn the series mode off and manually enter each of your standard concentrations. On the next tab, we can copy and paste in any applicable sample dilution factors. If your samples are undiluted or neat, the dilution factors should be left as one. If your dilution factors follow a series, you can use the series setting to easily add your factors and the green arrow will allow you to set a repeating dilution factor. For example, if my assay followed a times two dilution and repeated after eight samples, I could use this configuration. I have an Excel spreadsheet containing my dilution factors, so I'll copy and paste them in here. The Sample IDs tab will allow us to enter any applicable sample IDs. Again, you can manually type them or copy and paste them in. Finally, we can use the Run Notes section to name the run and add any notes. Once we've configured our analysis, we can save our settings if desired and click Calculate to calculate the results. Now we can see two boxes at the bottom of our screen, one showing a link to the results and another allowing us to open the interactive chart. If we click on the interactive chart, we can view the standard curve in more detail. If there are obvious outliers, they can be easily excluded by left clicking and recalculating the results. You can also include unknown points on the curve and control points by clicking on these buttons. If we close the interactive chart, we can then open the assay results. The report tab shows our curve fit chart along with the curve parameters and goodness measures. Below the curve chart, we can see the calibrators table and the sample table. The calibrators table shows the calibrator, their defined concentration, the wells they're located in, the raw corrected values, standard error of the mean, back fit or concentration, and percent recovery. The sample table shows us our sample IDs, dilution factors, their associated well locations, raw and blank corrected results, concentration and concentration average, the percent CV between replicates, standard deviation, and standard error of the mean. Any samples that are outside the range of the curve are highlighted in yellow. For more information about the report content, we can click on this link to open a more detailed explanation of each of the report contents. Back on the report tab, we can access the raw data and settings by using this option. We can easily share our data and results or get help with this analysis by contacting support. We can also export the results to a printer friendly version, open them in Excel, or specify the preferences associated with the output. If you have any questions about how to use the My Assays online service, please email us at support at myassays.com.